it's me, Jess Marie. Welcome, welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to A Week in My Life. Orange Tier Fitness Coach and First Time Mom. My baby is six months old and currently napping, so I was just getting started with this week by straightening up the house. Today is Monday, October 7th. It is 10.44, and like I said, I've just been cleaning up the house a little bit. We got back from Atlanta last night, or yesterday around lunchtime, because then my husband had a basketball game and a football game we went to. So once we got home from Atlanta, we just kind of threw everything everywhere. So I'm catching up on laundry and dishes and just putting away the things that need to be put away as you can see still have laundry hanging up on the couch so yeah she's gonna take you guys along another week this week my grandma is actually coming from new york she gets in on wednesday so I'll take you to the airport with me and we'll pick her up and yeah besides that not really sure what's going on this week just gonna be another week of going to the library for our little play date hanging out in our living room and our little play area that needs to be cleaned up and yeah i also have a facebook marketplace pickup today so i have to go meet somebody i've been trying to sell all my things that I no longer use anymore. And she's buying a pair of Gymshark leggings and a Gymshark sweatshirt that I just no longer wear. So, so I have to go meet her at two. And after that, I'll probably go to the grocery store because I'm meeting her at the grocery store just to get a few random things. Yeah, it's gonna be a good week. If y'all already, be sure to subscribe down below. And I'm just gonna start by straightening up this table, straightening up the baby's little area and yeah, just wait until he wakes up. I did just get a little package in the mail from Amazon. I ordered Zoo Pals because when we were in Atlanta, we were literally talking about them and I'm super excited. And then I got these spoons that I keep seeing people talk about when you're giving babies food, you just stick them in there and they kind of suck on it. We haven't really been doing purees because I'm doing mostly baby wood leaning. So I feel like these will be perfect for him. Yeah, a little overview of this messy house situation that I'm gonna clean up. I've already cleaned up the high chair because we had some breakfast this morning, but I wanna clean up all of this. That way I'll feel good about it. table is all clean that just has to stay there because that's an amazon turn and then the baby's area is going to be easy to clean because just have to pick that up and put everything in the bins this towel is from after he ate i just stick him in the sink because he gets so messy There we go, his play area is nice and organized. That way once he wakes up, we just come play right here. Except I'm thinking about taking these four and sticking them up or putting some right there and then putting the wall right there. That way he's not so close to the fireplace stuff. I'm not sure, but that's pretty much everything I wanna do besides laundry and vacuum. And Lady is still asleep right now. So I think I'm gonna start hanging up this laundry and there might be some more in the dryer. I think it's the baby stuff. So. I'll show that and maybe that cute. Baby laundry is all pretty much from being out of town. So it's all like sleepers and just random stuff and cotton diapers because if you didn't see my vlog last week, I met a girl at one of Justin's basketball games and she was telling me that they use cotton diapers at home and then just like Huggies, Pampers, or like regular diapers when they're out somewhere. And I was very interested. So my mom actually picked up a bunch of cotton diapers from someone off of Facebook Marketplace and a bunch of the inserts. So I've been playing around with those and I really, really like them. It's pretty funny because before I got pregnant or had a baby, I used to always joke kind of that I was going to use cotton diapers or reusable diapers because diapers are freaking expensive and now I'm actually using them and I really like them. So the baby's wearing one right now and this is only like our second day playing with them. They come in super cute patterns. So. Yeah. The cool thing about these diapers is you don't have to change this entire thing. That's what the inserts are for. And I think you just put them like this. I don't know, my mom and I were kind of playing around with it because at first there's this hole that we were sticking the inserts in, but then you'd literally have to change this every single time. So playing around with it like this and it seems to be working okay, but. Laundry's folded and baby's awake. It's now Tuesday, it's almost 12 o'clock and we just got back from the library. It was story time, my sister met us there, so that was super fun, and I got five new books to read to the baby, so a little book haul real quick. I got You're Out of This World, this pop-up mermaid book that we actually have two of these books, but this one is mermaids and it's super colorful and I thought it'd be fun. So got that, What a Wonderful World. It's like a little song, If Mama Sings, and then 
Courtney Love. And the baby wakes up from his nap and read these. And then on the agenda today is to vacuum. I vacuum every single day. And then I wanna finish up what I was doing yesterday. I stopped vlogging because I started organizing the baby's room, getting out all the stuff that he no longer wears or uses. And also organizing our guest bedroom because my grandma literally comes tomorrow morning. And I feel like every time she comes, since that bedroom is also our storage room, she doesn't have much of the closet to use. So I was trying to organize that. That way she can put her suitcase in there, have plenty of room because she's gonna stay for a while. At least a month, probably two, hopefully if she stays till Thanksgiving. So yeah, I wanted to give her plenty of room for her things and we put some stuff in the attic and yeah, it was just a big organizing day and there's a few things that I still need to finish today. And then besides that, I have some bills to pay and I coach three classes tonight, 4.30, 5.45 and seven. So yeah, I need to go over the template. Since one of the classes I coach are the strength 50, I plan on doing that as an at-home workout. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Also, we moved the baby into his crib last night in our room. Monitor's about to die. But this is his first nap in his crib and he's doing pretty well. You may say or press one for a yes response or say or press two for a no response. It is now 3.55, just got to the studio to coach three evening classes and I got here a little early because last week or Saturday or Sunday was Coach Appreciation Day or National Coaches Day. So we all got these boxes for members to put little sweet notes in and I'm about to open it and we record ourselves reading off a couple. So I'm about to do that and I'll just read them all to you. But going ahead and putting the mic on and I'm pumping right now. So if you hear what that is, it's my wearable pump. So go ahead and put the headset on and I talked to to turn on all the rowers, check the batteries, make sure they're all good, and then get my demo station ready, go to the BBA and practice how I'm gonna forecast things, and then I'll be ready. The first class at 4.30 is the Track 50 Strength 50 class, and then 5.45 and 7 will be the regular Orange 60s. So, put my mic puff on, and give this a little check, 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 check. check. And I just have the playlist playing that I think I'm gonna use, and then I'll restart it before I go out there. But, let's open up this box first. Got a Starbucks gift card. First letter. Hey Jess, thank you so much for all the good vibes and energy you bring to every single class. You are truly appreciated. Love Natalie and your rally. Two. Jess, you sold me on joining the gym. Tornado was a whirlwind. Angela. And three. Coach Jessica, thank you for keeping me motivated. I love your classes. My favorite coach for strength days. Oh, they didn't write their name. Jess, I love coming to your classes. Your calm, sweet voice is relaxing and encouraging. Laura. Jess, you are the best. I love your kindness, enthusiasm, and music. I miss your afternoon classes. Jess, I love taking your classes because of your energy and spirit. You're always so encouraging and have a smile on your face. Love, Shannon. Thank you for being my listening ear and for pushing me through the classes. So lucky to have you for a coach. P.S. Cute baby. <laughs> Kennedy. I miss you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Broken heart from Claire. She's one of the friend desk girls. Coach Jess, you are the best. I am so thankful for you and all your energy and encouragement during workouts. Love, Laura. Jess, literally my day one. Love you so much. You're an amazing coach. Thank you for pushing me always and recognizing me in class. You're the absolute best. Love, Sid. Best baby. <laughs> I tell you this all the time, but you are the absolute angel sent from heaven above. I'm so thankful to have met you and love that you've become full-time with us. Love you so big. Love, Kyla. P.S. Hugs and kisses to baby boy. Jess, your smile and encouragement always makes my workout fun. Hugs. Jess, keep rocking it out. Jordan has a great mom. <laughs> love, Damra. Coach Jess, you are such a ray of sunshine after a long day. Thank you for your positivity and brightness. Jessica, you are the sweetest coach. Love you. I've loved getting to work with you and watch your coaching develop. You are such a great mom and I love you. From our head coach. Those were so freaking sweet. And now I'm just feeling good and inspired and ready to rock these classes and encourage these members to work a little harder. Day is almost 12 30 and i'm about to bag some milk we started today by going to the library for the little foam play and it was so much fun we took grammy and obviously i didn't vlog anything yesterday because once we got her we got breakfast and then we just kind of hang out at the house catching up so yeah about to bag milk and use this to pour the milk in and usually i use the dr brown's bottle so that's why i have my food scale out here too usually i pour the milk into something to make it easier to pour and maybe i should do that again but this way I can make sure I get exactly 
four ounces. I got my bags and I'll put today's date and how many ounces I'm putting in this bag. And I found a website where you can put in your insurance and see if you can get a free pump and free milk bags. And I put in my insurance, I'm pretty sure I'm getting both of those. So that's pretty cool. And the pump that they're supposed to be sending me, I think, is the Spectra pump. And I've heard lots of good things about the Spectra, so I'm excited to try it. The bags, I'm not too excited about just because I've been using these mom cozy bags for forever and I really like them. And I've seen some other people say that the ones they send are the motif, motif, something like that. And people say they don't really love them. So, but it, they're free. So I'll take whatever I can get, especially because insurance is so freaking expensive. So might as well get something out of it. Got exactly two bags, which is perfect because that's how many bottles he had on Tuesday. And I'm trying to make sure I'm replacing the bottles he drinks because my stockpile used to be at the ceiling and now it's not. And it kind of stresses me out, but now we're outside. Granny brought some bubbles. Happy Friday. Let's make some coffee. Baby's taking a nap right now, so today's agenda, I'm about to clean the pump and bottle parts that we used last night, and then we're gonna use them again tonight because I picked up a shift at the studio. I coached that for a little bit, and I worked the desk at every Tuesday and Thursday, so I'm pretty excited to get back, especially because I posted on my coaching Instagram, and a member from the studio I always coach at said that she's gonna take class at this different studio tonight since I'm coaching there, and I'm really excited to see her. Also, I think my sister might be taking my class tonight, which I'm really, really excited about because she hasn't taken my class since before I had the baby. But after I clean all these pump and bottle parts, I'm just gonna let them dry, and then the baby should be waking up here in a little bit and I think Graham and I are gonna take him to a little baby store to see if we can get him some cute fall outfits because going to the library I want to put him in cute outfits most of the time he's just in a big t-shirt because it's easy for me to see if his diaper's wet or not and I'm feeling inspired to put him in some cute outfits so hopefully they have some cute stuff letting all the parts dry like so mm -hmm. 